Hey guys, it's MT Racing here. Just gonna do a review on my Renault Megane Cup 250. This one's a 2012 model in a nice metallic grey. So this is the Phase 2 Megans. 2 litre turbo. Really, really nice body. We'll just all walk around and talk about it a bit. Yeah, so this is the Cup 250. Originally, it came out with 250 horsepower, front wheel drive 2 litre. It's got about 350 newton meters of torque, which is pretty good. Um, this car is built very, very good. Nice, strong body. Um, it once held the record for Nuremberg during its time, and so with its predecessors as well, the 265, 275. And now the new Trophy R 2020. So just having a look, it's got nice, nice lights up there. It's got some nice halogens up front. You know, it's got some nice, nice lip over here and some nice grooves in the front bar. It's got a big intercooler. It's actually the whole size. Um, just they've color coded it nice, you know, the black and the gray. Just coming up to the side, the nice RS badge there. Um, it's got some nice flared guards on the front with 18 inch wheels and the standard Brembo brakes and they stop really, really nice. Um, coming up to the side, they've done the mirrors in black with the indicators there, which really suits it. The thing about this, it's also got a nice grill here for some cooling. I don't know if it's actually gonna do actual cooling, but it looks awesome. And that's all standard as well. You know, it's a nice car. This bit here, it's got like two side skirts. It's got the bottom one and the one that's actually on the door. And it actually makes it look really, really nice. It's coming up to the side. The rear guards are flared as well. Got some flared guards there. Some nice brakes at the back as well. 18 inch wheels on the rears. Coming to the back, we've got the back end. You know, it all kind of comes together. The rear lights are amazing. It's one of my favorite things on the Megans. And same thing, it's got a rear diffuser over here. It's got rear sensors and it's got one exhaust pipe and it looks absolutely perfect. Like if you come over here, it's such a good car. Coming over to the other side, Yep, it's got the rear flared guards again. It's got a bit of diffusers on the rear wing over here, as you can see. Yeah, nice ones. Coming over here. Such a nice vehicle. Again, with the Brembo brakes and the 18 inch wheels. And that's the outside of the Renault Megane. Renault Sport plucking over here. Let's have a look at the back. The back is pretty roomy. Uh, it's actually, you can actually put baby seats here. It's got the ISO fix for Australian standard. You can fit five people, three people in the back, two in the front. So that's five people comfortably, I'd say. Come up to the front. This is the interior. It's got a nice leather steering wheel with the middle in race indicator over here. It's got yellow stitching. Um, the cluster is the most amazing thing because I love the yellow in there. It looks absolutely awesome. Moving along to here, it's got a nice little MFD, which I'll show you soon. It's got a lot of data in there, race data and engine telemetry. It's got carbon fiber moving over. It's got These aren't the trophy seats, but they're the RS seats, the step under, and they really feel pretty comfortable and they do hold you in when you're getting around them corners and they're very comfortable for everyday use as well so honestly i recommend these over the bucket seats coming over here just got glove compartment here another one over here um this is the six speed manual it's got the leather the leather gear knob engine start your radio controls stuff like that it's got race pedals down there which are awesome. I'll start the car up. So the Renault Megans use a chip like that, and it just slots in there. 
make sure it's in neutral and we just press the start button and that's it starting up there so that's about it when the starting up process um, I'll show you some modes it has so in this little section over here um, you hold these two buttons and it activates this system here all you do is press OK and that's it I've got boost throttle torque power I've got brake pressure oil temp intake temp I've got lap timing 0 to 100 and also 0 to 400 quarter mile testing I've got G sensors I've also got sport mode calibration so this activates the pressure on the throttle so I if I can set it set up the sensitivity levels it's awesome so I'll just show you how that works as you can see it's all live data and that's brake pressure and that's the power so that's that and that's awesome I love that telemetry and that is all standard on all Australian Megans cup and I'll show upwards. you another feature this car has it's got a button over here you hold it and sport mode and ESP off so what this does it it tunes the motor slightly for better response and opens up the exhaust so you start getting more pops and cracks and more power as well so I'll give it a rev so you can hear So this is the 2 litre front wheel drive turbo, it's double overhead cam, uh, it's got a nice turbo in the rear over there, this one's been upgraded with some nice silicon hoses, also a pod filter, and it's got an aftermarket wastegate, turbo smart, and it's actually been stage 1 tuned, blow valve, uh, the exhaust decat, and it's running about 300 horsepower at the wheels, and it's a pretty fun straight car. So I'll just have a look. Yeah, um, the turbo is from an, from Mitsubishi, um, and they run high boost, probably about 17 psi of boost. Really, really good engines if you take care of them. Very reliable. So I'm just gonna take this Renault Megane for a drive, see how it goes, give you guys a bit of a feel.
just got instant boost. It's got a, it's got also a shift light and it makes a beep noise. And you can adjust that as well. That wheel spin for us gear. Just That's about it guys, the Renault Megane Cup 250, such a great car, look at that, took a nice little beating, but at the end it's here, overall such a nice car.